this heatsink is too small, so let's try bending some heat pipes. This is chip copy of a real deal. Uh, you tell me. Take care of thermal issues. So did the thermal problem go away? Well, the load is 64 range and it's turned on. And we're pushing just about 26 watts continuously. It doesn't seem to be blowing up. It's also clipping way nicer than before because once it goes into thermal protection mode you get this really nasty kind of current limiting waveform going which is really spiking horrible. I think it can actually induce it by turning up just a bit more. There you go. So even with this giant heat sink this module will still have thermal issues and that just speaks to the magnitude of the design issue with the minimal heatsink they actually put on it. Because I haven't broken the heatsink, the heat pipe is still getting hot, the uh, heatsink is uh, too hot to touch real, and it is even radiating heat quite well. I can feel it streaming up there. But turning it up too loud still causes it to go into tick mode. So what can you say, you get what you pay for, but at this rate, this amplifier module should at least be usable. And as for the actual performance improvement for this mod, well, we've actually gone from 22 watts per channel to 24 watts per channel into 8 ohms at 0.1% THD plus N, from 37 watts per channel to 38.6 watts per channel at 1% THD plus N, and we've gained about a watt at uh, 10% THD plus N, but at this stage it doesn't really make much difference. But hey, now the module actually works at 4 ohms, at which we get about 22 watts per channel at 0.1% THD plus N, about 30 watts at 1%, and still overheating if we try to push it to 10%. But hey, now you can actually push about 20 watts per channel into 4 ohms at a 14 volt supply, which actually makes this module really nice for using some 12 volts core audio system or something of the likes. That's a good 3 watts per channel more than you'd get out of your generic linear core audio chip. And the unclipped fidelity of it when run of a 14 volt rail into 4 ohms is really quite superior to most core audio chips as well. Now we're pushing about 14 watts per channel into 4 ohms right now, and uh, we're at a 0.1% distortion full scale setting. And we're at, what, 0.05% or so, which is way superior. And that marks the end of that review, because uh, I, in my infinite wisdom, just uh, reverse polarity this thing at 26 volts, and uh, it didn't take kindly to that, so 
this module shot. Uh, so, polarity protection not present. Thank you for watching. Oh, glory!